So today I decided to stop at our local Goodwill. It's been a few days. Um, yesterday they were closed. Um, we had a snowstorm the past two days. The sun is finally out. Let's get inside and see what we can find to resell on eBay. Lucky, lucky the sun is out. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, the color is purple. See if I can get a cart. There's always um, fresh carts. Let's see what we have over here. They got the music blasting. What is that? It's pottery that's newer. That's nice. I was going to say it looked like uh, Italian pottery. Let's go over here. Yeah, look at this fellow. Oh, that's a lady. <laughs> Um, is that chalkware? It's not chalkware, it's like an in-between. Nice, um, 80s lady. Oh, let's take a look at this set. It's a little bit different. Uh, let's see who made it. It's, um, Taylor Smith & Taylor Company Design. Hmm. Kind of like that blue with a brown. That's pretty. Oh, here's a picture. It's a chip on the rim. Oh, what about these? Oh, I see some pottery. <laughs> My eyes are going all over the place. Just says Dave for $6.99. I'm going to leave that. Normally I would pick up pottery. Oh, that's a nice glaze on that. It's not signed. Um, I'm gonna leave that for $5.99. If it was signed, maybe. Here's some um, Jesus on a cross. Oh, that's um, it just looks like a homemade project. Has uh, shells on there. How much is that? $6.99. I gotta leave that for that price. Normally, I would pick that up. All right, nothing down here. There's a spongeware mug. I'm trying to see if that's like a studio pottery. I don't think it is. How much is that? One ninety nine. That's not too bad. I keep picking this up, thinking it's a glassy baby. It's party light. <laughs> All right. Ooh, there's a jar. A ginger jar. Uh, who made that? Um, five ninety nine. I gotta leave it. Oh, look at this! It's a wooden pitcher or a vase with some birds on there for four dollars. I think I'll put that in. A little bit of damage on the the handle, but that's pretty. Has a mid century look to it. It's our first item. What about these bowls? Where are we going now? That's false square of <laughs> this lady. Alright, I keep spotting pottery. I was just over here and I missed this. Alright, this is a little bit newer for $16.99. <laughs> Ooh, look at these bowls. I kinda like those. $5.99 for the pair. I think I'll put these on. It has a mid-century modern look to it. It's only $5.99 for the pair. Get those. Now, what about this mousse? It's a resin. Those are still $20. Sorry. It almost looks like it could be Red Wing. I think Red Wing is always marked, but I'm not positive. Hmm. They are different and do have some age to it. Two dollars each isn't too bad. Pretty sure that's false graph, yeah. What about this plate? So, um, is that restaurant wear? Yeah. I could feel it. Oh, look at this horse. It's a cornucopia. Let me see who made that. It just says P. 
it's $20, but it is pretty though. It has the floral design and then um, the gold detail on there. I do kind of like that. I don't know that P191 though to spend $20. Oh, look at these Easter eggs. Those are awesome. $2.99. Kind of wiggly. It's definitely just a craft project. tempted to get them. And what about this bunny? Oh, look how cute that is. Look, she's holding the babies. Artistic gifts for $2.99. It looks like that would have been like a... I don't know, what, what is that? It looks like it would have been a music box. There's the kitty cats. Collector plates. Oh my gosh, the crazy lamp lady would love this. <laughs> and the fact that it says the praying hands. <laughs> oh my gosh. I actually kind of like this because it's crystal. For $4.99. Hmm. I actually might do that. <laughs> it's pretty. Look, it has um, roses on the sides and it has the gold detail. $4.99. I don't think I could get too much more for it though. I'll say like $12. All right, and I found Avon's Riffy Riches bag. I don't know why she left it here. <laughs> I totally see her having that. Knitting needles. What about this angel? Um, it looks like it'd be newer. Christmas tree shop. Christmas tree shop has some nice items. Oh, look at this portrait. It's just of a girl sitting. Looks like it has some age to it. Made in Japan. That one says father. All right, I just saw her put this trinket box here. <laughs> For $4, it's uh, made of stone. I think I'll get that for four dollars. I'm not sure what kind of stone that is. Let me look at the inside again. Yeah, it has like a that's pretty. It has the green with the brown and then the blue hinge. Look at that. All right, here's a perfume bottle for four ninety nine. Oh, it has a etched design on there. Oh, it has a butterfly on there. Um, it's Avon. <laughs> Just notice it said Avon. I see the A. Um, I think I'm going to leave it, though. Here's Michael's wine bag. <laughs> Alright, I figured I would take a look at the art. Oh, there's Jesus. For $4.99. Looks like it's just a print. Here's a painting. It's on wood. What does that say? Um, wood. <laughs> wood. Woodson. Who forty dollars? Oh yeah, I would have picked that up if it was a little bit cheaper. I would spend like ten dollars on that. There's some dancing people. Looks like it would be Woodstock. <laughs> some mirrors. Um, I really wanted to take a look at this metal piece. It's kind of cool. It's newer. It's very light. I'm, I have a feeling that the older ones from like 1960s, 50s or 60s would be a lot heavier. It's awesome though. All right, I'm going to attempt looking at some of the bags. <laughs> what about this one? Oh, that's pretty. Um, it looks like some of it's fallen apart, though. It's very heavy. Let's take a look at the inside. Donna Dixon. It has a lot of scratches on that. Put that up there. That's pretty pink. This one's kind of funky. Oh, let me get it out. 
right? It has no brand on it, but I do like that style. It's a 1970s style. It's awesome. This Tommy Hilfiger for $20. It's a fresh cart. Woman. <laughs> I wonder how much that is. Here's some vans. Where's the, I thought I saw the other one. Oh, here it is. I feel like I can make money on vans, and these are pretty decent. I'm gonna do the test though. I wonder if those are the original um, shoelaces. They're rubber. I'm not sure about them. It's men's. I wish they were my size. I don't know if I would wear brown though. I also found this beaded bag. It is made by Nettie Ro Rosenstein. I feel like her bag sell for some good money. A little bit of damage on the bottom. It's only $10 and some of her bags sell for some good money. So I'm going to get that. It's pretty with the beaded work on there. And it's beaded up here too. Okay, so I found this Disney Pocahontas long fly bag. It's $20. Um, I didn't see any of this color, the style on eBay. I did see something on Google for like $300. So I'm definitely going to spend $20. I feel like I could get over $100 at least. I'm just not sure how I could get this discoloration out. If any of you guys have any tips, let me know. All right, I looked around about four times. Um, this is everything I'm getting, the beaded bag, the Disney bag. I gotta put this back. I didn't notice it was a repair on there. The band's shoes and these beautiful mid-century looking um, bowls. Oh, and the stone trinket box. Now let's see what sales they have. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start over here. Let's see if anything pops out. What is that? For two dollars. Hmm. Made in China. Oh, here's a box. Probably Gorham. It's definitely um, silver plated. It's not bad, five dollars. I want to find some. Um, oh, look at these the little bunnies. How much are those? I kind of like that. Thirty dollars for a twenty piece set. All right, like it. Oh, here's some. Um, 50 cents. It just feels like it's very light. It feels a little cheapish. If that's a word. <laughs> um, Sophie. Oh, that's Port Marion for $8. I have a similar bowl like this at home that I still have to list. I'm not sure who made it. I want that bunny set. It's a perfect time to get it, but $30. Hmm. We have the Irish. Oh, who made that bowl? Oh, let me look at that lion. Let's see if it's Lalique. Ah, uh, Gobel. 1985, how much is that? $10. Hmm. I actually don't know how much that would go for. That's a pretty picture. It's made to look like it's antique. It's an um, antique jug. 175 
you see who made that? Snow markings, that's pretty. Is that um chintz? Let's see, is that um Victoria? I'm not sure that's twenty dollars. Oh, look at this flower box. I'm not sure I could appeal that later. All the petals are there. I like the pink and the black. For $3, I'll put that in. We have uh, Sheila's wood. First, I thought it was a cat's meow. I wonder how much these sell for. Originally $22.99. 15 each. We have uh, David Winters? No. Ron Gordon. Oh, here's a mid century trivet for $2. Mel. I'll put that in. Here's some pottery. <laughs> it's just a hobbyist little project. It's kind of cool, an abstract. How much are those? Two dollars. It's a nice box. Probably from the 80s. I think this is the Indiana glass made to look like, well, not made, but it looks like the American pattern, the cubist. Oh, here's a trinket. For 50 cents. Let me open it up. <laughs> I like that. Put that in. This crystal tray down here. That looks, ooh, it's very heavy. There's no marks on it, it's five dollars. That's not a bad price for that. It's a little bit different. I don't know who made it. Check out this porcelain bowl for four dollars. JP France and there's a W. I can't read what's underneath that W in the ribbons. <laughs> four dollars. I'll put that in. Um, I was hoping there was some pottery mugs. Some like a uh, drip glaze. That's Corel. Let's see who made that. I like them. Oh, that's Yankee Candle. How much is that? Five. Kind of wish it was half off, Dave. Five dollars for that. I'm not sure. All right. Or Taki Troy pattern. That's five dollars. I... Hmm. Yeah, it looks like they added a lot more. Looking at all the dishes. What about these with the gold brim? That's a B on there. Oh, that's Dansk monogram. Twenty-two karat gold. Ten dollars for all of them. I think this is a lot of lace. Nope. I don't want to miss anything. Hope I'm not going too fast. All right, let me see what is in the kitchen. Uh, $3. So cast iron. A teapot. It's a nice pattern with the black and white flowers. Salt and pepper shakers, BW. 
they're cows. <laughs> I think I still have a whole bunch of cow um, kitchen accessories at home listed on eBay. It's a little, um, I believe, bottle. It says um, Stafford Inc. for 50 cents. Put that in. Here's some meat. Yeah, here's some pens. Look at the cat pen. There's no name on it. It's probably just like a made in China, but it has rhinestones on it. I'm gonna ask how much of that is. It's a leaf. Let me see what that says. LG. I'm not sure who made that. Put it down here. I'm gonna get the cat. <laughs> it's pretty. Forgot to take take a look at this blue decanter. Definitely looks like um. It's definitely um 1960s. Some chipping on the top oh, and a big scratch right there. I kind of like that. I like the blue. Oh well. Let's see if that's sterling. It looks like it would be. Yep, and I see the mark right there. <laughs> Here's a music box clown. Oh, look how cute. So made in Taiwan. What's that? Vintage Danish pottery. Twelve dollars. Danish pottery. It's a pretty um carved wooden vase. Let's see what that is. Let me see again. <laughs> um, earthenware hand thrown. Kalaccessories.com for six dollars. I kind of like the green glaze on it. I think I'm gonna put it back though. All right, I'm gonna take a quick look at some jewelry since it's half off. Um, maybe get some sterling. Oh, I think I'll get these. I think it says, um, I might say Coro or Cora. Get those. I'm trying to see if there's any Trafari. Yeah, there's a Trafari. It would be a dollar fifty. I'll get those. Nice, um, black shells. All right, I think I'm going to take a chance for five dollars for this teacup and saucer. It's Taylor and Kerr. There are some sold comps. I didn't find any with this pink and the rose. So I'm gonna get this. I feel like I could at least double my money on it. There's some Wedgwood. Votive. How much is that? 15 for the pair. Ooh. I feel like I looked at these before. Here's a cool sand castle. I noticed the um, disco ball on the top. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's probably a souvenir. What does that say? 95. 1995. I wish there was a name on it. There's no price either. Put that there. These are cool cups. I think it says Rocco. There are espresso cups. Kind of neat. I like the metal handle. I should start making espresso. <laughs> Look at this little dish. Just glass. 50 cents. I've yet to find the glassy baby. Those are neat candlesticks. They almost have like a native 
vibe to it. Hmm. Six dollars. Ay, ay, ay. I thought they were like a dollar or fifty cents. I would have got those. It's a Yankee candle. Up, oh, just a Yankee. I was checking to see if this was Laurel Birch. If it was, I would totally get that for 50 cents. All right, I am not seeing every, anything else. This is everything we're getting. So my total spend was, how much would I, how much did I spend? I spent $50. <laughs> Sometimes you forget when you come out. We didn't find too much in the hard goods, but that's okay. That's why we looked in the clothing, found the van shoes and the two bags. I'm excited to research both those bags a little bit more, especially the Pocahontas. Oh, and the beaded bag. Um, I'm going to go home and try to research and list some of these items. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and check out our eBay store. We're still running a 20% off sale, and I'll see everybody next time. Bye!